hey everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's video is very special for me because today is my 40th birthday i turned 40 and fabulous today so for today's video it's just going to be a 40th birthday haul i decided to treat myself to some stuff for my birthday i have a skincare item um, only a couple of makeup items i didn't buy a whole lot of makeup and then i have just like some random stuff that i bought so i'm just going to show you all what i decided to buy myself for my birthday so this is actually my second time trying to film this video so the whole idea was for me to unbox a lot of this stuff on camera with you all so my birthday is on October 21st so you will likely see this the day after that but I've been buying stuff over the past couple of weeks and I just been putting it aside and I wanted to unbox it for the first time on camera with you all which is what I did the first time that I filmed this video but unfortunately when I went back to edit it I noticed that the way that I had the, the camera set to focus wasn't appropriate for this setup so as you can see my setup is a little different today I'm sitting on my floor on the side of my bed as opposed to at my desk so when I'm sitting at the desk I am a little closer to the camera and I just have the focus to uh, it's set to focus like right in the center of the screen which works because I'm not really moving around too much but when I was editing I noticed like whenever I turn my head from the camera or whenever I went like this and like you know maybe went to go grab something the focus was just too in and out it was irritating me so I knew that it would irritate you as well so I said let me just chalk it up and film the whole video again <laughs> so I wanted you guys to see like my first impressions on a lot of these things but I've already seen everything but I still want to show y'all what I got and I filmed the first one I did the first take like a few hours ago so I feel like my makeup is probably not as fresh as it was you know the first time I did my my uh the first time I tried to film this but oh well I'm not gonna let it get me down because today is my birthday and I'm having a great day so far and I'm really excited to film this even if I do have to do it again so before we get started if this is your first time here welcome my name is Sonia Nicole thank you so much for stopping by and I really hope that you'll consider subscribing today I would really really appreciate it if you would subscribe on my birthday that would mean a lot to me if you do subscribe let me know in the comments so I can be sure to say thank you and for those of you who are returning to the channel and you're already subscribed thanks for coming back welcome back and as always thank you so much for your continued support okay you guys let's jump right into it okay so I want to start off with a skincare item this is like a skincare slash like spa relaxation type item everything that I'm going to be talking about I'm going to link in my description box and you know some of this stuff you can get it from various places but I'm just going to link exactly where I got it from so that you can get all of the pricing and all of that if you are interested so this first product is the nano warm mist facial steamer and I got this one off of Amazon. So I got this primarily to use it as a skincare item. I'm gonna start doing my skincare while I am steaming my face because as I understand it, that's a really good way to help like your skincare products like really penetrate into your skin. So that's what I bought this for, but it's supposed to be very relaxing too. So like I said, I got this off of Amazon and I had no idea like which one to buy when I went to go search for one. So I just did like a simple search and I looked at a handful of different ones. And the only deciding factor for this one was the way that it's shaped. But there's a few on Amazon that are shaped like this. So this is what the steamer looks like. And as you can see the way that it's angled, I like how it's angled to like come right up into your face. Some of the other ones that I saw, they look like the steam would go like straight up, but I like the fact that with this one, it looks like the steam will come right onto your face. So this back here is where you put the water in and it looks like a nice size compartment for water. And because it's gonna be steaming out, it's, it looks like it's gonna take a while to use up the water if you were to fill that up and then it just pops back into place. Then you have the little power button in the front. I like the fact that it's pink and white. I don't think this one came in other colors, but one of my favorite colors is pink, so I do like that. And I like the fact that it has a cute little handle. So one thing I didn't know until I opened this box, um, I did open this 
when I first got it in the mail, I just wanted to make sure everything was like all the parts were there and it wasn't anything broken or anything. So when I opened it then, I saw that it came with two makeup sponges, which I didn't even pay that any attention when I bought it. So I like the fact that they come like in these little containers here. And these remind me of the LA Girl sponge, the one that I just bought and I featured it in a recent haul video. This sponge actually feels just a little softer than that LA Girl sponge. I didn't like that LA Girl sponge, but the shape and the color of it reminds me of that sponge. I do know that I'm not going to like this one as much as my Sonia Kashuk sponge because it doesn't feel like a soft and as bouncy as that one but I thought it was cute that this um, steamer came with a couple of makeup sponges so I'm going to try this for the first time tonight when I do my nighttime um, skincare routine so this one was $21.99 and like I said I got it off of Amazon I read a bunch of reviews on a lot of different face steamers the reviews are helpful but you know with every product you're gonna get some positive and some negative reviews so I really just kind of narrowed it down to why I really didn't narrow it down I just bought this one just because I was looking at so many and eventually I said let me just pick one and just pick one and let's go so that's why I got that one so it was $21.99 and like I said I'll link it in my description box so that's the only like skincare item that I got so let's move on to a couple of makeup products and I only have a couple that I decided to buy so the first one, I'm not going to go into it too much because I did do a dedicated uh, video on this and it's actually the video that I filmed before this one. So I decided to buy the ColourPop That's Taupe Eyeshadow Palette and this is what it looks like and it looks used because I used it for my eyeshadow for today. But I'm not going to go into this one into too much detail because my review video on this will most likely be the next video that you see. But I bought this one and I bought two of the super shock shadows here's one of them the other one is over there somewhere but um, I'm gonna be talking about the eyeshadow palette and two of the shadow the super shock shadows in my next video so that's the first makeup product that I bought and then this next eyeshadow palette I am really excited about and this one I did open this one too when I first got it in the mail because I just wanted to make sure that it was intact so I did already see this one too. Um, so this is the Dose of Colors Smoky Soiree Palette. I love the packaging on this because it's like like that soft like suede feel to it. My other Dose of Colors palette, I have the Blushing Berries palette. That one is just like that hard plastic. This one has like a much more smooth surface to it. And then I'm just going to take the brush out so it won't fall when I try to show it to you. So this is the um, palette here and I really love this. To me, this is like a really nice holiday palette. Like I feel like they could have called this like maybe like the Smoky Holiday palette. Like it looks like, I guess because of that red color, it looks very like fall or like Thanksgiving appropriate and then because of those shimmers that silver and that gold you could use this for both like the holiday like Christmas time and transition it into New Year's so I'm really really excited about this I think I'm just going to incorporate this into um, maybe like a get ready with me type of video but this is the next makeup product that I decided to treat myself to this one was $32 I don't think I said this but this ColourPop palette I'm pretty sure this was I think I paid $20 for it because I got a package the palette and the two shadows so I also got a new lip gloss very inexpensive though this is the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss and I do have another one of these in just like a clear shade this one is I'm just realizing the first time that I filmed this I didn't even say what the shade is this one is in the shade bright on so let me show you like the color of it and then let me see if I can show you like this. So you guys know that I much rather prefer like the silvery tones instead of the gold. So this is kind of like a new color with like um, a lot of silver in it, which is why I chose this one. 
when I went to buy this my intent was to get like maybe three or four of them because they're really inexpensive they're like maybe somewhere between like three and four dollars but they're really good but this is the only other color that I really liked the rest of them were like just a bit too colorful for me so I just got this one and like I said I already had the clear one I got another clear one for my sister but this was the only other color that piqued my interest so that is the next makeup product that I bought and then the last makeup product that I bought so this is kind of like my splurge product I guess in the makeup category for my birthday so I decided to get the it brushes for Ulta this is the limited edition it brushes for Ulta rose gold complexion brush set so it's valued at $105 but it costs $59 at Ulta so this is what it looks like it comes in this really cute rose gold cup and the way that they had it what did I do with the packaging they had it like standing up in this um, in this cup they had like the little mold in there I took that out because I know I'm gonna be putting like other brushes in here but it comes in this cute little cup and then here are the brushes here so I love the colors of them because I really like rose gold but the reason I really wanted to buy these is because I want to say it was last year for my birthday I bought an it brushes for Ulta brush it's the big um, silver brush that you always see me like setting my face with and that brush is kind of pricey I think I paid like I want to say somewhere around $30 for that brush but it's a really good brush brush like I do think that these brushes they're kind of up there in price but I think that they're worth it they're really high quality they're really soft and fluffy they don't shed or anything they these brushes I think are really good I haven't used these yet but I'm saying the brand it brushes for Ulta I think that they're really good so this particular brush here I don't know exactly what I'm going to be using this for because of the shape of it the only thing I can think of is maybe try it for like my under eye concealer it's just that the the brush head is a bit more like fluffy than what I would normally use for a concealer but I may try it out for that this one I feel like would be a good multi-purpose brush because I could see myself using this for bronzer blush or just like all over powder and then this one I think would be good for foundation maybe blush too but I'm thinking foundation for this one and then this one for me would be more suitable for like let me see how fluffy this one is though this one is kind of fluffy too but when I looked at it this one I thought would be more suitable for me for my under eye concealer because of the way that it's shaped so I'm not sure again what I would be doing with this brush but you know I'll figure something out but the reason I wanted to try these is again because I think that this brand makes really good brushes but I really like the whole rose gold theme on these so that was my last makeup product that I decided to buy for my birthday okay next I want to show y'all a pajama set so again I did already open this so I know that the um, shirt might be a little big for me so I wanted to buy I was thinking about buying two pajama set one um, for like the holiday season and then another one just for like all year round but then I said let me just buy one and if I like it then I'll go back and buy another one so this is more like holiday but I feel like I can wear it you know like all winter long I'll say because it's like snowflake theme so I don't know if y'all can see how big the shirt is but I can look at the shirt and tell that it's a bit too wide for me but maybe it's supposed to be like that maybe it's supposed to be loose fitting but it didn't look like that on the pictures I got this off of Amazon too so I don't know if um, I'm gonna keep this I may have to return this because the shirt looks a little big but the pants they look like they'll fit me okay like they look like they're gonna be like the right amount of like fitted plus looseness if that makes sense but I'm hoping that this isn't one of those sets where what I would really need is like one size in the shirt and another size in the pants because you have to buy it as a set so I'm gonna try these out tonight and then if I like it I'll go out and buy not go out but you know what I mean I will buy another one I don't know if I just said I think I just said that I got this off of Amazon but the name of the brand is sleepyheads so I will have this linked down below as well and this costs $26.99.
So that's another reason why I didn't want to buy two right now because I think $26.99 is the okay price if they're like good quality. But I said for that amount, let me just buy one, see if I like it, and then I'll buy another one if I like it. So Okay, so I learned about this next product from YouTuber Andrea Renee. So this is the Ultimate YouTube Planner. And again, I got this a little while ago because I was planning on buying it um, maybe like a week or two ago, but I got it. Uh, I may, may have had this for maybe like a month now. I got it earlier than I wanted to because I had a coupon code that was going to expire. And I think I got 20% off of this and the regular price of it is $25. So the name of the brand is Shop Love It Agency. So I'll have that in my description box. But if you're not familiar with Andrea Renee's channel, she has a makeup channel. But kind of recently, like within the past few months, she's been doing vlog videos I think she does them once a week I think on Sundays and in one of those videos she was talking about this planner and how she uses it to plan out her content during the week so I took a good look at this for the first time this morning and I'll show you a couple of pages so for instance this is one of the video planning pages so it'll let you put in things like the title of the video and the date you're going to upload it and if you need to jot down like little um, points like outlines or bullet points in the video that you want to make sure that you definitely need to mention you can take note of all of that stuff which I thought was very very helpful and then you can even note if it's been filmed edited and or uploaded so you'll know where you are in the process and then they have something else called a video marketing page so on this page it lets you schedule out how you're going to be advertising your post so you can put the date on there the video title the date and then you can mark off where you're going to be putting it on like facebook instagram twitter whatever you're going to be doing so again, very helpful. I don't know how helpful this would be for me particularly, at least right now, because I know they say when you like cross onto different social platforms, like if you have a YouTube channel, but you also post on Instagram, that will help your YouTube channel. Even though they say that, I'm just really bad at doing that. Like I usually just don't post on Instagram too much. And I know I need to do that more often, especially because I usually um, advertise my Instagram handle in my YouTube videos, but I post like every once in a while on there. But for those of you who are heavy posters on both YouTube and Instagram, this could be very helpful. So this actually would have been very helpful for me like this past week because I'm still going to I'm going to start using this probably tomorrow. But um, the last couple of videos that I did, the ones that I did today, plus maybe like the next three, they're going to be kind of like all over the place in terms of like the order that I'm going to be publishing them. So those of you who are on YouTube, you know how it is when you're pre filming. So I have a bunch of videos that have, that I've already filmed a couple more that I'm going to film this week, but they're going to be uploaded in like some weird order because you know just different things this would be really helpful for people who are on social media and if you're having trouble like keeping track of uploading when you want to and all of that you should really check this out and they have other ones they have ones specifically for instagram i think i saw one on there specifically for twitter but they have a bunch more they don't have just this one so again i will have that linked in my description box Okay, so the next couple of items, I guess we can call these like lifestyle items. So I decided to buy myself a crystal starter set and I've been wanting to get into crystals for quite some time now. So that I got the, these next two products off of Etsy. So this first shop on Etsy is called Charlie Taylor. And again, I'll have it in my description box, but this is how the crystals came packaged. So they came in like this little pouch. And this is a 10 crystal starter set, but they had like different sizes that you could do. I decided to just start off with 10. And then each of the crystals came individually wrapped like this, which I really like. I'll show you a couple of crystals in a minute. And then there's a couple of cards in here. So like this one just tells you like all the names of the crystals that are in 
the set and then on the back of this one and then on the other cards they just give you like some information about all of the crystals that are in the set so i'm definitely going to be reading up on this probably this evening so let me show you guys a couple of the crystals so i believe this is one of the tiger eye tiger's eye crystals so this is what the tiger's eye looks like in the picture and i think that's what this one is here it looks a little different but i think this is tiger's eye i just wanted to show y'all just a couple you know what they look like I also like the size of these. I thought they were really nice, really nice chunks, or at least some of them, I'll say. This one, this one is a big one. I didn't see this earlier. This one is called Selenite Crystal. This is one that I've never heard of before. So what does this do? So this one clears negative energy in spaces, people, and objects. Yeah, I've never heard of this crystal before, but this is a good example of like some of the sizes. Now they're raw crystals, so they're gonna be like cut differently, but this one is a nice size. I don't remember offhand how much I paid for this set, but it was somewhere around $20, $25. This one is definitely the Rose Quartz, right? Yeah, this one is the Rose Quartz Crystal, and this one is the Stone of Unconditional and Universal Love. So I've heard of the Rose Quartz before, but I'm not very versed in crystals like that, so that's why I wanted to buy a starter set so as to not like overwhelm myself but i'm excited to learn about these crystals and what they're supposed to do so that is that product there and then the next product that i got was from another um, etsy shop and i wish i could show y'all how this one was wrapped but again i already opened it but the name of this shop is angelic light wraps and came in this box but it was also like wrapped really nice so the actual gift is the ring that i have on my finger this is a black tourmaline ring is it tourmaline or tourmaline i think it's black tourmaline but this one um, is the crystal that like wards off negative energy and i really like the fact that it's um silver i think that you can choose your metal though but this one is silver and then for purchasing this i got a free tiger's eye crystal which i thought was really nice and what I really liked about this is that the owner of this particular shop, she hand wrote a little note telling me that I get a free tiger's eye with my purchase. And it says the tiger's eye is wonderful for attracting wealth and good luck. So I thought that that was a really nice touch. And again, I don't remember how much I paid for this one either, but I feel like it was also somewhere in the range of like 20 to $25. And then the last two products that I got, I decided to get some candles from Bath and Body Works. So I was planning on getting this one. This is pumpkin pecan waffles. And this candle is usually a repurchase for me, but I haven't had this in like a couple of years. So maybe like going back, I don't know, over five years ago, one of my former co-workers bought me a big one of these and I burned that thing so fast because it smells so good it smells like breakfast it smells like a bakery let me go online so I can give you guys the exact um, description of this candle so this one is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. And that's exactly what it smells like. If you don't like candles that make you think about food, don't get this candle. But this one smells so, so good. So I already knew that I was going to get this one. But when I went online, they had a sale going on for, th for this size, two for $20. So I decided to try a new one. So I got champagne toast. This one is like a really popular candle, but... For whatever reason i just never tried it so i decided to try it this time so let me look this one up really quickly so this one is bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine so when i smell this the main thing that i smell is like a like a subtle tangerine smell like it's not like overpowering it's like a light like fruity scent so i am actually going to burn this um, later today 
just so that I can experience it because I've never um, used this candle before even though it's so popular but this pumpkin pecan waffle one I will most likely finish this like before Thanksgiving so usually Bath and Body Works they have really good sales around the holiday time so I'm probably going to buy another one of these because this is going to burn up really really fast but we'll see like maybe I'll try champagne toast and I'll end up liking this one better but um, I decided to get the two of them just because they were on sale two for twenty dollars okay you guys so that is all of the stuff that I decided to buy for my birthday for this year so let me know what you thought about my 40 and fabulous birthday haul my day is kind of like just beginning so I'm looking forward to continuing on with my birthday so I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video today if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe while you're here today and I hope to see y'all back here for my next video until then take care have a good one y'all bye